In this video, we're going to talk about named constants. So far, the only type of storage location we have talked about are variables. And variables are a storage location that have exactly one value, and that value can change. But what if we wanted a value that didn't change? All right, so that uh, we want a storage location, we want to be able to give it a name, we want it to have a value, but we don't want that value to change. Well, to do that, we're going to use what's called a named constant. All right, it is a storage location. It has one value, and that value cannot change. Here's the structure of what that is. We're going to use the keyword const, followed by the type of the variable, and then the name, and give it a value. So here, let me go show you how this might work. So here I've got some formulas that I want to use in relation to a circle. So I want to get the radius, and I want to be able to compute both area and circumference. Well, both of those use the value pi. Well, pi is a value that doesn't ever change. And so this is an ideal candidate for a named constant. So let's go ahead and create that value. We do the keyword const, then its type, and I'm going to use double here. It's a real number, so we could use float or double. I'm going to use double here for the value of pi, and I'm going to give it a name that's meaningful. So, pi, and that means something when we use it. Notice that I used all caps. It's a common convention to use all caps when you're working with constants, and that way you can distinguish them from variables so you know it's a value that cannot change. And I'm going to give it a value, 3.14159. Now, the value of pi can be different, based on the amount of precision that you want to use, so you can pick the precision that works best for your application. Now that I have the value of pi, the other thing I need is a value for radius, so I'll get that value from the user before I use it. And then I can compute area equals pi r squared, so it's pi times radius times radius, which is the same as radius squared, and circumference is equal to 2 times pi times radius. And there I've computed them both. Let's go ahead and run the program and see how that works. So the program asks me to enter the radius of a circle. So I can enter 5.2, and it tells me both the area and the circumference. Another time that it is valuable to use a named constant is when you have a value that rarely changes. So consider the value of sales tax rate. This is something that stays pretty constant, maybe for years, but that may change. So if you have a retail sales program, you're going to be using this number throughout your lines of code, and you may have millions of lines of code in your program. And one day, the legislature may go in and change the rate of the sales tax. Well, when they change that rate, you're going to have to update your code to match. So the way that you can do that is you can go into this one line where you defined that named constant, and you can change that value, save it, recompile your code, and you're ready to go. Your code now works. So all those many different places that that value shows up throughout your code is now fixed by simply making a change on a single line. Named constants are significantly valuable. They add meaning to your code, which increases the ease of maintenance. They add clarity so that your team members can more clearly see what's going on. and um, so they add meaning and clarity and ease of maintenance. They're a good tool to use whenever you have a value that you can give it a name, create a named constant.